Hey everybody! Hello, hello, hello! How are my Facebook friends doing today? It is so good to see all of you guys. I will give you guys a little update here in a minute. Um, let everybody get on. Life is good. Okay. I am. Um, oops, I needed to press play and there we go. Okay. All right, so. All right, hello, hello, hello. Well, we have got a fun night planned tonight. Hopefully my energy stays with me through the most part. Um, and then uh, we will go from there. But tonight it's all about pink. So we're gonna have a pink night and we've got some notions tonight. Um, we've got a mystery bag tonight. I'm looking and we've got some last call for some panels. So that's cool. So um, everybody's popping on, so that's good. Um, just to let you guys know, last week on Sunday, I did. I was really sick. I, I did not feel good. I had a fever, so forth and so on. Um, I did uh, do the, the good thing, and I did go um, get tested for COVID, only to find out I did pass. <laughs> that was one test I did not um, want to pass. Um, but I was fine. I haven't had really any symptoms. I've been what they would call asymptomatic, other than I just get tired. Um, so I'm fine. All is good. I've, I'm here by myself. I've served my quarantine. I'm actually officially out of quarantine right now. Um, so all is good. So um, thank you for your care and concern, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I just still get a little tired, but I'm fine. So all is good. All right. So, we have got a fun night planned. Karen is just on her way back. Well, she just got back from Road to California. How fun is that? I have not been to Road to California. I need to get out there and do that sometime. Maybe next year. You never know what next year will bring. So, I did not get our recipe posted today, but we are enjoying it upstairs. It's football dip. Um, I will be sure to get that recipe posted tomorrow. Um, Oh, Karen, I am so glad you met Deb and you mentioned, oh, mentioned me. Oh, that's so sweet. I just love Deb. She's our fearless leader. Yes, yes, yes. She's our fearless leader. So she's a great lady. Just amazing. And how fortunate for you to get to take classes directly from the Creative Think Pen. I bet they were pretty awesome. So, um, all right. So a lot of fun things planned for tonight. But if Again, the football dip, I will try and get that posted tomorrow. It is super easy. You just make it with sausage, Velveeta, and Rotel. I mean, three ingredients. How hard can it be, right? All right, so I have got a little bit of a new camera set up tonight. So hopefully, um, you know, the quality is really good. I'm seeing it jiggle a little bit, so I'm trying not to bump things. Hopefully, we'll do really good about that. Oh. Yeah, going through the certification class is not for the faint at heart. So if you are very considerate, Karen, let me know. I'll, I'll give you the lowdown. All right, let's get started on some fun stuff. You know, it's football season and the playoffs right now. At least it is in my house. Um, we've got some friends over and they're hanging out upstairs with John watching the football game right now. And um, they are enjoying tonight. I made some boneless... Um, chicken wings so yay um then we had a bacon lettuce and tomato salad and some homemade ranch dip and homemade blue cheese dip and a cheese spread and football dip so we've got to talk about football because it's playoff season oh so here is oh so oh good amber you'll love fair isle too i, I figured out what you were doing <laughs> Um, okay, so if you're new to us and you've never shopped with us before, I better tell you what to do before we get too far into this. Um, so um, I'm Christy. Welcome to Cottage Grove Quilt Company. I love that you're hanging out with me tonight on Facebook. It is so much fun to have you. Everything that we do for Yardage is sold one yard cuts. Um, we've got some great things to talk about tonight, some great quilty things. But if you're just finding us for the first time, type the word register, R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R. And if you're on Facebook, and then you'll get automatically registered. If you are on our app, yay, you're good, you're golden, and you're already in. So, 
Um, we ship uh, U.S. Postal Service. Our shipping is a flat $8 fee. And uh, once we finish up here today, you'll have about 45 minutes to check out. We take all major credit cards and PayPal. So easy peasy. Easy peasy. Ironing some points for a quilt. Annette, good for you. Oh, Connie, I missed you guys as well. Yeah, but you can't keep me down for long. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started with some really fun football fabric to kick off the NFL playoff season. So look at this. Isn't this really fun? This would be great, you know, for a young one. You know, for a... Uh, pillowcases or something fun like that but that's a great print I love that that's really cool and then oh and everything has a number so say sold in the number so that was sold 300 this is going to be number 301 I can tell I'm still a little bit off my mojo but I'm getting there so this is number 301 that is really fun these would be great you know for um a young person's pillowcases or some, some fun stuff or some jammy pants. That would be a lot of fun for some jammy pants. Oh, I would love some jammy pants for that for football season. So here is some football helmets. This is number 302. Number 302. And then another round of helmets, but in the white background. This is number 303. Number 303. Thank you for sharing. Be sure to share. Um, a little off my mojo, like I said. I don't have a special share word tonight. Um, let's just say if you've shared, say football. Say football if you've shared tonight. And um, look at this fabric. Isn't that fun? All of those packed footballs. This is number 304. Number 304. Isn't that fun? I love that. Love that. So that is some fun football fabric for us as we do football season. Phyllis, I have been told that your Green Bay Packers got um, didn't get out. I uh, got kicked out yesterday. I'm sorry. My condolences, dear. All right. Um, all right. We're going to do some Notion stuff now. Next, we've got some fun little Notion items. So, um, this is my Tarot Magic. It's not mine. I didn't design it. I wish I had. But anyway, Tarot Magic. This is amazing. Amazing stuff. Now, here is a 32-ounce bottle. So, let me tell you why I love Tarot Magic. I am a heavy, heavy, heavy starcher. Um, in fact, I actually will dip fabric in starch, especially if I have a clothesline and I'm outside and I can do it. Um, but because I don't have a clothesline outside anymore, I tend to rely on my Terial Magic, okay? And what this is, is this is a um, liquid stabilizer. You can use it for your machine embroidery. You can use it for your piecing. It is amazing, well, I'm sorry I keep cutting in and out and out. I can't fix that. Um, so this stuff is awesome. So, uh, in fact, Becky Davis even told me, um, she's on tonight, that if you spray Terio Magic, let it dry, press it on the back, flip it over, spray the front, let it dry, press it, flip it to the back again, spray, let it dry, press it, and then cut it out to 8.5 by 11, you can actually run it through your inkjet printer and use it to make labels. Now, how cool is that? Now, if you really saturate your fabric with this Terio Magic, it will be stiff as a board. Now, I've also been told, I have never tested this, but I have also been told it works great for knit t-shirts when it comes to making t-shirt quilts. Now, I haven't tested it, but that's what I have been told. So, this is a liquid stabilizer. Lots of uses for, you can even use it for labels, for machine embroidery, for um, prepping your fabric before you start cutting and pressing, and before you start cutting and piecing. Amazing product, number 308. Five, number 305 love this stuff okay all right next is the easy pressing pen this is amazing this I use all the time especially when I'm doing precision piecing like in Zenfair Isle Black Lament program 
If you're on the Fair Isle Block of the Month program, this would be a handy dandy thing to have. I fill it with Best Press. It's just a pressing pen. And what's great is it's got a felt tip inside of it. You fill it up with your liquid um, starch. You know, I use Best Press. You can use whatever you want. And then you just press it down so it's like that old chalk pen and you just paint your seams. And then it relaxes your seams a little bit. You can lay it out flat and then press it with the iron and you get the sharpest, crispest ever piecing. Number 306, love this stuff. All right, now this is the, um, this is the product designed initially to go in that pressing pen. This is number 307. We obviously have one. Um, well, 306 should not be waitlisted. I'm going to up that. Thank you for letting me know that. And um, nor should um, 307. Those shouldn't be waitlisted either. Okay, so I just fixed those two. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay, so this is the 307 fabric treatment. This is what's designed to go into the pressing pen, but um, I use Best Press. So whichever one you prefer. This is number 307. And um, it, is, um, a, it is a treatment. It adds volume, inhibits fray, you know, different things like that. Um, I have used my bottle that came with my pressing pen. It worked fine. But for me, I am such a starch person, I just refilled mine with Best Press. So speaking of Best Press, Best Press. This is a nice little small bottle. It's six ounces. This is number 308. We've got, um, it's, it's a six ounce bottle. It's Caribbean Beach, whereas every place we want to be right now in this dreadful cold. So this is number 308. And this is what I use to refill my bottle with. Thanks, Gwen. All right. <clears throat> So here is the Creative Grids Ruler. Now, if you want a really basic little standby, easy grab, really work with a lot ruler, this is an awesome size. This is three and a half by 12 and a half. It is um, $17.50, I think, or $17.49. Um, yeah, $17.49. Not Terio Magic. Um, no, Terio Magic is, we, it's not best, Vanessa, I don't think I understand your question, honey. Um, okay, no, I don't put Terio Magic in the pressing pen, if that's what you're asking. I don't put it in the pen. Once, okay, let me go and explain this. When I take my Terio Magic and I get fabric that I'm going to be doing a lot of precision piecing with, I, and it's only really stuff that I'm doing a lot of precision piecing with. Um, I wouldn't do this on charm packs or on jelly roll strips, things like that. But this is um, what I do. I take material magic, I put it in a spray bottle, one of our spray bottles that we sell. And then I spray the fabric and coat it really good with it. All right, and then I hang it up and I let it dry on like a clothesline. I have a clothesline in our storage area that I literally hang fabric on, okay? And then, um, once it dries, I carry it into my iron and I iron it out. And then I fold it up and I'm ready to start cutting. Now I do this in like one, one and a half yard increments, okay? Anything bigger than one and a half yard kind of gets a little hard to manage. And then once I've done that and stabilized the fabric, that's the only time I use this. After that, in the pressing pen, in the pressing pen, I use Best Press. Best Press goes in the pen. You can use Flatter Dorothy, either one. I think Flatter's a little more expensive than um, Best Press. And so just from an economic standpoint, I just put the Best Press in here versus the Flatter. Okay, and then I keep Flatter in another spray bottle. And when I'm done piecing my unit, then I spray it and then press it really good. Okay, I think I, think I answered everybody's questions if I didn't ask again. I'll do, I'll talk all night about this. All right, so this little guy ruler here, this is a handy dandy ruler. One of my favorite size rulers that's in my studio is a four inch by 12 and a half inch ruler. And I love this size. It's great if you're going on retreats. It's great. I have very small hands. It's probably hard to tell on the screen, but I have very small hands. And so for me, this fits my hand really, really well. All right, so I love this. Three and a half by 12 and a half. 
All right, and then um, we have this great little Perfect Five ruler. This helps when you're having to trim units out with your um, charm packs and you're having to do stuff that's an exact uh, five inch or you're gonna cut your own five inches. Perfect little tool here. So this is number 310. If you have the Perfect Five um, quilt book by It's So Emma, this is the ruler talked about in that book. <coughs> And then also we have the Perfect 10 ruler. Again, love this guy. This is great for like layer cakes, okay? Layer cakes, and it really gives you the dimensions. If you're having to cut your layer cake in half or quarter it, it really helps with that. So this is a 10 inch, um, Perfect 10 inch square. And my Leroy just showed up. Isn't he sweet? He came to help his mama out tonight. All right, so the next little notion item um, I wanted to show you guys is this non-slip coating. So for some of my Studio 180 rulers, not on, do not use this on Creative Grids. Creative Grids already has its own non-slip mechanism built in. You do not need to add anything else to it. But some of my Studio 180 templates or Missouri Star template that doesn't have um, that doesn't have any sticky on the back of it or Invisigrip. I spray it with this um, grippy non-slip coating. I love this stuff, but I'm gonna need to tell you. It says on here, very important to please spray in an open air area with a lot of, lot of ventilation. Ask me how I know that they say what they mean, okay? Definitely on this grippy, you've got to be sure you spray this outside, okay? Do it outside i mean it stinks <laughs> all right so this is number 312 love this stuff and it kind of gives like a little sandpapery mist and so it really helps your templates not slip um, and i think it works really well especially for those um for those other stuff mary ellen i understand the chief's game is on upstairs in my apartment with my husband and some guests along with hot wings and cheese spread and cheese dip and a salad that's where i'll be going in a little bit too um, <laughs> all right um and yes thank you guys i am so glad i am feeling better i just last sunday we, it was not pretty <laughs> it was not pretty <laughs> Let's just say uh, it was a good it was a good day to forget. <laughs> All right, so here is the so steam so seam standard seam guide. Okay, that's way too many S's and uh, th things are going to come out that's not going to be polite. Okay. <clears throat> this is really handy here because um, it has all of these holes in here. See all of these holes in it? Isn't that amazing? So, um on here <laughs> you guys are so funny. Sharon is Chiefs and Fabric shows it can't get better. And Mary Ellen's are tied at the half. It's like Phyllis, you and the you and the you and the Packers. Well, what's great on this seam guide is it's got a hole here for all the different measurements that you could ever need in, in sewing. So primarily we use the quarter inch. And so what I do then is when I need to set my seam guide, I drop my needle at a quarter of an inch. I drop it through the hole, because this is a hole, drop it through the hole, and then I can lay this right up against it, and I can put my magnetic guide down, or my duct tape, or whatever it is I'm using at that moment to make sure I have a solid quarter of an inch seam. And it's got a great little quarter inch X spot for marking, and it's it's got a lot of uses. It's got a 45 degree angle on here, and it's four inches by two inches, so you can do a little bit of measuring as well. A lot of different different uses on this. And so this is just a really cool thing to just have in your arsenal. Okay, and let's see. Number 314 is just some pins. If, you know, we need some pins, we all need pins. You never can have too many. These are patchwork pins. They're heat resistant, they can be ironed. They're 0 0.5 millimeters by 36 millimeters long. Oh. Oh. This cracks me up. I'm not a sports person, but I'm watching, working on my block of the month and watching my dog as she, oh, Amber, how neat. Your dog's gonna have puppies. Oh, how fun. 
congratulations. Send us pictures. All right. So next we have some embroidery colors. Um, we do, believe it or not, sell embroidery thread. Um, and, and Debbie pulled some things if anybody wanted to do chicken scratch. So we do have some. These are actually chenille needles. So this is number 315 chenille needles if you need some needles. These have a nice large eye. Even I can see these um, with um, my bifocals. So that's kind of handy. So if you need some chenille needles, this is number 315. All right. And then we have some gingham. Now this would be really fun if you would want to do some chicken scratch. And if you don't know what chicken scratch is, what a better thing to look up on Pinterest. So here is some nice gingham. This is number 316. 316, very pretty. Then we have it in taupe. I love this taupe. This is number 317. And then in gray. It's kind of a blue gray. So there's the blue gray. Very pretty. So that's number 319. Love that blue gray 319. You know, those would even be fun to think about things like placemats and napkins. Those would be gorgeous napkins is to take a yard of those and trim them out and put a few little, use your decorative stitches, trim them out real pretty, and these would be some gorgeous napkins. All right, now we have just a couple other basics that um, we grabbed just to throw in for fun. This is um, a black and white, super fun, black and white. This is number 349. Number 349. And then we have this great green check. This is 348. 348. Okay. All right. Now let's moving right along. Okay, so we have a series of embroidery threads. And all of this thread is the pearl cotton. And um, it's all of it's 275. So I'm gonna hold up the color and we're gonna go pretty quick on these because I have a lot, 19 of them. Okay, so that's the first one. This is number 353. Any cowgirl material tonight? No, we don't have cowgirl material. This is number 393. 385. That's really pretty. You know, believe it or not, this week since I've been kind of held up, I have been uh, actually got out my counted cross stitch and started doing some more cross stitch. This is 351. And then look at this really pretty one. This is number 352. Isn't that just lovely? Very pretty. 354. Three fifty-five. And three fifty-six. And 357. Okay. Gotta get my armor rest. <laughs> okay, 358. 359. 360. This is all DMC Pearl Cotton. 361, oops, skipped one, 365, that's a very pretty color. All right, four more to go. Okay, and then we have the black, and then a gray, and 315 is a light gray. And then white, 
$3.64. Love that DMC Pearl Cotton. It's just got a nice feel. All right, mystery bag. We haven't done a mystery bag in a while. We have been failing on our mystery bag. So here's how the mystery bag works. You're gonna pay $25 for a mystery bag. And in there, you'll get at least $30 worth of goodies. And it's just, um, I think tonight will probably be pink, more than likely. I don't know what Debbie had planned for the mystery bags, but they are super cool and they are super fun. So if you would like to get a mystery bag, it's $25 and it's an awesome surprise. So this is number 367 for the mystery bag. And we don't skip on our mystery bags. And it's not chintzy stuff. It's all good stuff. All right. So, Sharon Thomas, listen up. Miss Angela Thomas, I haven't seen Angela on, so I have to call out her mom, Sharon, um, made this sample quilt farce. Didn't she do a beautiful job? This is gorgeous um, line from Michael Miller. <clears throat> It's all pinks and grays and whites. It is just so pretty. I just love the look of it. I just love the look of it. So this is number 394, and it <coughs> uses the technique of folded corners. So you've got some little folded corners, some bigger folded corners, and uh, that's how that goes together. Super cute, cute quilt. Super cute. All right, so this is called Bella Rosa. It is from Michael Miller. It measures finished. What's it measure finished? It measures 65 by 77. It's a confident beginner. So um, if you would like this quilt, it is gonna be number 36394, number 394. And it's $139, $139, and it is number 394. I love these pastels, and she did a beautiful job on it. All right, now Debbie went through and pulled Pink Prettiness. Um, Annette, you asked me about cowgirl fabric. We do have some pink camouflage tonight. That's not really cowgirly, but I know some cowgirls that wear pink camouflage. Does that help? Um, okay, so let's start with our pretty is pretty in pink. So here we go. This is number 368. Dessert. He loves dessert. Number 368. Oh, cows. Oh, no, no cows. <laughs> okay, pins. Some pretty pink pins. Love that. All right. And then we have this all in pink sweet flower. That is really pretty. Super fun. 320. Now this one is called Raining Petals and it's kind of got a little orange and, ye and yellow and pink going on in here. This would be a great background. Okay, and we have Lucy, pretty in pink. That is very pretty, some very pretty pink daisies. Okay, Rose Meadow. Number 323. And then we have um, these really pretty hearts. Now this has got pink in it, I think. No, it's more purple and red, but anyway. There's that one. And then in the white, you see more of the purple in it. All right. Slide these over. All right. Okay, one more stack of fabric for tonight, my friends. Here is this gorgeous ombre bloom. 
I love this. This is from Moda, and it's ombre, all these different shades of pink. And the number 328, or sorry, 326. I got my numbers mixed up. And then this is the Pink Rose Bouquet from Michael Miller. That is so pretty. And the Pink Potpourri, number 328. Number 328. Okay, and then we have this beautiful Rose Diamond. Isn't that lovely? A friend of mine is having her a baby soon, and her little girl's name is going to be Rose. Isn't that just a lovely name, Rose? Okay, this is right here. Some pink circles. Very pretty. Number 330. And then the pink camo because even girls like to wear camo and they prefer it to be pink. Number 331. Okay, and then we have this one here is so pretty. This is number 332. Love that. And of course, you guys know me, anything that I can get pretty medallions with, this would be me. here. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. Love that. Very Hindi looking. And this is just a nice pink accent. Number 334. Okay. I'll do three more for you guys. Here is this very pretty swirl, pink swirl, 335. And how fun is this with these beautiful flowers on it? Buena Vista is the name of this. Is that not pretty? So pretty, 336. And then last in tonight's selection is this pink pigs. Look at that, little flying pink pigs. Number 337, love that. All right, so I think we're gonna stop there. I can kind of feel my energy a little waning a bit. So I want you to thank you guys very much for shopping with us tonight. We will be back on Thursday night again at 7 o'clock. Uh, Tuesday will be our next release of our um, quilt along. I'll be catching up my videos and other things throughout the week. So a lot of other information to be flowing out as well as classes coming up for February and March and April. So a lot of activities going on. Um, for those of you that are kind of in the area, but not like close to us, you know, like probably three, four hours away, I am bringing in a special guest, a good friend of mine named Tammy Silver. She is the owner of uh, Tamarini's and she is a pattern designer. She designs for Kay Fawcett. She designs for Tim Holtz, a lot of free spirit designers and she designs her own fabric line with Island Batiks. She is amazing. Well, she is coming to our shop April 1st and 2nd. No kidding. So you need to check out our website and sign up for Tammy's class. Even though if you're four or five hours away from us, it's still a great time to come because um, there's hotels in the area. And if you've got questions about a hotel, get with us, call us, and we can recommend there's a Holiday Inn 20 minutes either direction of us. And um, both of them are fine establishments, and we would love to have you guys here. And what a great thing to come for would be Tammy's event. It'll be um, a trunk show on Friday night and an all-day class with Tammy on Saturday. All right, you guys, have, um, have a great night, and uh, hopefully your favorite football team wins. All right, see you all later. Bye.